Money got him changing faces like they say me so so my nigga. I'm coaching the picture. If you can't get the base home safe, leave the dope in the river. No hope for a quick. And I've seen more blood in the shower than a stomach tone. <laughs> Nowhere. I tried to suck cause that was one around running the lips that they pissed. He better lay low and I'm dependent on me under my hood and when they put in the comment section what song it is, you know what it is, I'll be mumbling through half of them because I only really remember all the words. If I thought about it. But. You read that title, you know what it is. Hold up. It's the Schmidt. Of the ERBs, baby, I'm back. And we got an ERB for y'all. Let me go ahead and give a huge shout out to Russ West, who said, I suggested last time I'd love to see Steven Spielberg versus Alfred Hitchcock. I also want to see Isaac Newton versus Bill Nye. So we doing Steven Spielberg versus Al Alfred Hitchcock today. You guys killed that like goal of the last video. Get this video to 5,000 thumbs up for the next ERB. Is that too low? 5,200 comments. Oh yeah, by the way, people been asking me, screw, do you got merch? Do you got merch? And I realized I haven't said this since I got like such an influx of subscribers and stuff. I'm gonna throw this up right now. Yes, I got merch. Throw it up, show it to them. Oh yeah, show the scroll. Uh, the link will be in the pinned comment. If you want to support this page, I got lots of merch, man. I've been making merch, man. I put some time into these designs. So go check it out. Go support that. Shout out to everybody in the Patreon. Um, let's get into it. Ready? Oh, yeah. The Smoke Perk and my song, Drum, is coming. Whew, it's coming. Ready, set, go. What the fuck? Okay, let's turn them sometime. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My bad, my, my, my bad. I gotta make sure it's 1080p. For some reason, the, the default be not be very un 1080p ish. Y'all told me to get into this one, so let's do it. Okay. Picture a child sitting next to a project, learning from your films to become a much better director. Now picture a three billion dollar dream machine who can block us all over your crop to the Ooh, ooh, hold on. Hold on. First of all, the beat, epic. Hmm? ERB coming with some epicness. Epic. The beat, epic. Off tops. And I'm seeing this Steven Spielberg is, which makes sense. He's a storyteller when it comes to rhyming. You know, the slip. He's painting a picture for you. He's making a visual. So... This is different than most ERBs. He's not starting out just talking about, he is definitely saying that he's better than him, but it builds a, 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 a good narrative, a picture of a child sitting next to a projector, project. learning, learning from your, learn films, your films to become a much better director. To become a much better director. That's a, here's the thing is he's giving him praise by saying he was watching his films and was inspired by him, but... Quick little, ah, subtle jam, I became a much better director. Anyway, now let me tell you why. Picture a three billion dollar dream machine who can block us all over your crop duster scene. Oh, you will talk about the crop duster scene? Put, put in the comment section what movie the, the crop duster scene is of Alfred Hitchcock. Oh, man, okay. Try to duel with me, Alfred, you must be psycho. I'll bring back Jaws to take a bite of your life, bro. I'm a you must be psycho, okay. Little, little light jab, I'm not gonna lie. That was that was kind of light. Word play, I mean play on words, the movie psycho. I must be a psycho, but that's a setup, right? I might bring back Jaws and take a bite out of your life, both. That's pretty cool too. That's, those are two little, but the, I feel like those are two setup bars. Those aren't really crazy punches, but they're setups, you know what I mean? To take a bite of your life, bro. I'm always so on top of my game. I get the vertigo. My jet's in the terminal, waiting for me to murder you. Ooh, okay. Getting vertigo, so my up so high. I'm getting vertigo. The name of the movie. Uh, he's basically doing the play on his movie. The Academy and the DGA. You rock as many Oscars as that slut Michael Bay. Now you're filling up those jowls with three steaks and souffle. Check the trade. See me able to my next big play. I See the. Pl That's the. Yeah, don't worry about that. Don't ask questions about that. 
See me amble to my next big play. He he not giving he not giving the craziest like bow knocking him out the frame. Kind of setting up. ERB likes to come come come, come kind of you know in the first rounds depending on who the person is. I produce cartoons and make games for all ages. You produce Jimmy Stewart making one of two faces. Maybe next mm, time okay. I'll visit you'll be a bit more gracious. I'll kiss my balloon and just bask in my greatness. Ooh, okay, all right. No Don DeMarco's there. But we gonna see, we gonna see what Hitchcock coming with. That's a very beatable round. Very beatable round. Just bask in my greatness. That was a close encounter of the third kind. But there won't be a pretty ending this time. Mm. Your billion should go to John Williams. Brace yourself as I reveal my brilliance. Ooh, half of your billion should go to John Williams. They say the score is making the movie. Okay, yeah. That's a nice little, and I'm liking how. I'm seeing, okay, he, he might, okay. Because I reveal my moral, I'm the master. All suspense, so intense, no defense against Hitchcock once he presents. Yeah, the rap skills, the, the, the rapping is better. Off, off already, just the writing is better. Whistle is enormous, orchestrate, William performance, rumor, all of the Megan Fox is acting and transforming. Oof. They're taking lots of shots at Michael Bay, man. Michael Bay catching a lot of strays. Michael Bay movies catching a lot of strays. Bang, bang, bang. Michael Bay might have to come here and catch, catch the winner. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. He said that haunted him. Mm hmm Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait, 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 wait. We get hold on. We getting the we getting the jump in. Hold on. Let me talk about Alfred's round first. That was cool too. Um the writing was way better. Um I like the chocolate syrup line when he was saying, like, basically you needed a whole bunch of bells and whistles to make people man, I made chocolate syrup scary, man. What would you talk about? Black and white might have been. Mm -hmm. So but the writing is what I'm saying. I'm the best man with jam I ever stood behind the camera, behind the camera, damaged pandas. Come on now, he's smoking like right the now. Last Indiana. <laughs> okay, now we get. Island all, stop rhyming, y'all. Alfred, you got no style, dog. I'm the king of dialogue. There's only one movie I know you're from, and I've seen more blood in the shower than a stomach going. Out of nowhere. In my JR voice. Oh my God! For the love of Jesus! For the love of Jesus! Out of nowhere! Stone Cold! Stone Cold! Fighting World War One, but couldn't do that. The British Army wouldn't let you join because you were too fat. Look it up, it's a true fact. Wikipedia that. Now allow me to attack Stephen Hack. Oh no! The world's a failure is what I label you. It looked like some sellout bullshit Michael Bay would do. Ask anybody. What's your favorite Sam Jackson part? No one's gonna say. What's his name from Jurassic Park? Clean. When I grip mics, I'm the mean dick. Even Tarantino is a genius. A sad motherfucker from the wallet to the penis. All right, so Quentin came and smoked both of them. Is that what we getting? Hmm. Y'all gonna let Quentin come here and just not even be a part of the whole thing and just jump in and infiltrate the whole battle, speed up the tempo, change the background, kill Bill style, and smoke? Okay. Wait a minute, hold up. It's becoming a battle royale. Unless you're talking about the Kubrick, then there's really nothing to okay. Everything I do is visionary. Every single frame of painting made exactly how I want to make it. Do another okay. take and get it right. 127 times. I'll make you learn to love me. I'm the bomb. Drop over violent rhyme. Right? Like Ooh. Hotbird. You all heard. Beats me over the color purple. AI is the worst. Beats the potential symphony. Just turn off. That's enough. I've heard enough crap from all. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now here's what I'm saying. Huh? Battle Royale, they're all coming in. That was cool, but I still say that, um, what's my man? Uh, my shoulders hurt. Ow, I slept on it weird. Um, what's my man? Quentin, Quentin got the crown right now. Quentin got the crown right now. But I'm thinking this is Michael Bay. 
Y'all was taking like I said it. I said it. I've heard enough crap from all of you where I come down there and show you what a real star can do. Okay, hold on. Get yours. No Bruckheimer, I work solo. There's one thing I've learned, bitch. This game is about motherfucking money. I make that dollar, y'all. Motherfucking money. <laughs> Okay. He just came and started swagging. He started talking big cash talk. Oh man, the intro was ridiculous. But um, I ain't gonna lie, this ain't gonna be enough to be any of the niggas. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Can't come here talking that cat. Like, you're gonna get away with that for like a bar or two. You know what I mean? You, you can't get a whole round off like that. What is you good? You think you good? Good can't even do that. You gotta throw some humor in it. Gotta throw a little bit more in there. You threw, you made a chorus though. I'm not mad at you. You came through and made a whole chorus of your John. Hold on. I get some money. Make some motherfucking money. money. <laughs> okay, he is kind of splashing though. I ain't gonna hold you. He kind of talking crazy. <laughs> Y'all didn't tell me this is gonna be a Royal Rumble, man. Y'all didn't tell me this is gonna be a Royal Rumble, man. This beat is very, I ain't gonna lie to you, this is very 2000, uh, 2008. Very, very when, when Khaled just came through and Miami was taking over. It just reminded me like, like Lil Wayne about to have the last verse. Yeah! Birdman gonna start it, then Lil Mick. Okay. Um, didn't know this was gonna be a Royal Rumble. I'm going with. I'm gonna have a password, by the way, so stick around for that. I'm going with uh, Quentin. The, the, the battle between. When it comes to the battle between Alfred Hitchcock and Steven Spielberg, I would. I would. I would go with Alfred, just because. The pen was a bit better. Steven Spielberg was saying some cool stuff, which is funny for me to say. But he just didn't have the punches or or he wasn't ragging on Alfred Hitchcock. As Both of them weren't ragging on each other too much. But because even in Steven Spielberg's verse, he's kind of bigging Alfred Hitchcock up. I know he it's a backhanded compliment, but it still works towards him when it's in a battle. Put in the conversation who you thought won and what battle I should do next. Uh, the code word is uh, Kermit the Frog. We out. I love y'all.